Greetings, humans, and welcome to another mind-boggling episode of Will Dan, that's me, the science man. Today, we'll be comparing paper towel dispensers to hot air hand dryers. We'll be focusing on the challenges and opportunities of both paper towel dispensers and the cutting edge Dyson Airblade while taking into account green chemistry and life cycle assessment. Are you ready? Let's go. is a paper towel. Somewhere right around 14 million pounds of these bad boys are made each year. Boy, that's a lot! And does anybody know where it goes once you throw it away here? Here! And how about after this? Here! The landfill! Where it sits for two to four weeks before decomposing. Now that may not sound so bad, but this is not the only aspect to consider. Later on, we'll discuss the paper towel's entire life cycle, ranging from cradle to grave. As you may know, paper towels are not the only way to dry your hands in public restrooms. Tiffany, what are our options? Well, we have standard hand dryers, accelerated hand dryers, and at the zenith of hand drying technology, the Dyson Airblade. All of these methods... Product. Products use hot air to dry your hands as opposed to the standard paper towel method. By using hand dryers, the user produces zero waste. Wait a second, are you telling me the Dyson Airblade is 100% green? Well, no, not exactly. Let's take a closer look. This is the Dyson Airblade, the top of the line in hand drying technology. The air blade uses 146 megajoules of electricity to dry your hands in 12 seconds at 1400 watts. Neat! Even better, it's motion detected so you don't have to dirty your hands between washing and drying. While the air blade creates much less waste than paper towels, it still has some sort of impact on the earth. The graph above shows the effects on the ecosystem by paper towels, both new and recycled, as well as the air blade, both aluminum and plastic versions. As you can see, paper towels affect the ecosystem in materials, manufacturing, use, and post-use, whereas the air blades see the bulk of their harmfulness in the use phase, based on electrical consumption. Manufacturing and material effects still occur, but they are far less impactful than the effects of paper towel production. MIT rated the Airblade and other drying products on a scale from 1 to 7, 1 being the best and 7 being the worst. The Airblade scored A pluses across the board in all categories except for water consumption. The other categories being global warming potential, human health, ecosystem quality, cumulative energy demand, and land occupation. Recycled paper towels averaged a 5, brand new paper towels averaged a 6. Do you know what that means? If paper towels took a sustainability test, they'd get a big fat F. This shows just how harmful and unnecessary paper towels actually are to the environment. Starting PT, Daddy. PT is street slang for paper towel. Nah, brother. I went green. Switched to the Dyson Airblade. See how dry these puppies are? How could you? The choice was easy. Airblade wins out across the board. Global warming potential, human health, ecosystem quality, energy demand, and land occupation. But what about water consumption? What are you, a fish? So, what can you do to completely replace paper towels with Dyson Airblades? Glad you asked! Urge local businesses to purchase air blades and never have to buy paper towels ever again. 
while the air blade may cost $1,200, they'll save money in the long run and be exceptional global citizens all the while. Tune in next week when we compare cars with walking. Science, 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 science